What's up, Aries? It is your girl Kat, and we're going to be doing your reading for the week. So let's check it out and see what we got going on. All right, this week I am using Tattoo Tara. Switch it up a little bit. I like these cards, but they're very, very big. So <laughs> I don't use them very often, but we'll get through it. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got, Aries. Okay, Six of Swords, Nine of Cups, the Star, Six of Cups, the Emperor, Strength, Six of Coins, Eight of Wands, and the Magician. Okay. So, right off the bat, Aries, I'm getting the vibe that you're waiting for something or you're, you're expecting something, anticipating something. Six of Swords is moving out of trouble, moving out of difficulties and hard times. Nine of Cups is good. Things are good, but you're wishing for something. Star is like a bright future. So I feel like that's part of the reason why I feel like you're anticipating something, you're expecting something. You're waiting for something to come towards you or to you. Six of Cups is your past. The Emperor, I feel like you've learned something recently from your past that has made you stronger. The Six of Coins, I feel like you've been very generous, very giving. And I think last week's reading, I, I got a very specific reading that somebody was helping somebody buy a home or co-signing or something like that. So I think that you've been very generous lately. The Eight of Wands is like swift action or communication. I take it as text message down. Um, direct message and email something like that something that comes very quickly and the magician here manifesting that's another reason I feel like you're, you're trying to make something happen you're waiting for something here Aries hmm okay so things look good moving out of, out of a difficult situation waiting for something in the future something in your past you've learned a lesson from it and you're now you're stronger because of it I feel like there's some kind of action that you want to happen. You're trying to make happen by manifesting it. Let's go a little deeper and find out what's going on here. Three cups, okay. Three cups is like family, friends, it's support, collaboration. Five of Cups is disappointment, sadness, regret. The Hierophant. Could be a legal matter or could be a marriage. The Ace of Wands, new beginning. The Queen of Wands. All right, Aries. Were you married to the Queen of Wands? Something happened between the two of you. There was some kind of disappointment here. Maybe you're in separation from each other? Are you trying to manifest a new beginning, a fresh start? Let's clarify some of this. With the Golden Universal Tarot. Oh, I got a jumper, yeah, look at that. 
feel like this is this is about a marriage, a home life. This is like a, a solid connection you had with this person. Okay. You guys had a tower moment. Something came and just messed everything up that you didn't expect. But you're moving out of that trouble with the six of swords here. Things are gonna get better between the two of you. And I don't know why, but that saying tough times don't last forever, but tough, tough people do. Something like that. <laughs> All right, the nine of cups. Yeah, you're wishing for this fresh start, this new beginning. Okay, the future looks really good. Yeah. This is somebody that you already have, this is somebody you already know. This is somebody you have an established relationship with. I feel like you could possibly be married to this person. Yeah, there's, like, there's a very strong commitment here. I think you're married to this person, Aries. Or you're going to ask this person to marry you. You didn't hear that from me, Crosswatcher. <laughs> yeah, I feel like whatever experience you guys just went through, this tower moment, um, I feel like it's made you wiser. You've learned from it and grown from it. And I feel like now you're, you're trusting your intuition and your instincts a little more and not listening to the people around you. You're listening to your inner voice more. Yeah, okay, and then strength, right? Remember I said you, you became stronger from whatever you went through here, is clarified by the Seven of Swords, and that is taking a stance, sticking to it, setting boundaries, being firm, um, dedicated, you know. I feel like maybe outside people were influencing you a little bit here. That's what I'm getting from this. I feel like you've been very generous. And if you have, um, if you started something or are you thinking about an engagement to somebody, it's gonna go very well with the Empress here. The Empress is all about um, abundance and fertility and, oh, maybe you're family planning. Yeah, now's a good time. <laughs> um, but whatever you're planning, whatever seed you sow right now is going to be very fruitful for you. Cups. Okay, you're doing well. Things are okay right now. You're coming out of this hard time. But you're waiting for something, you're wishing for something. This is either um, like being cut off from somebody, like no communication, being left out in the cold, ghosted, or it's financial difficulty. I think you're trying, you're wishing for an end to that or a change in that situation. Having to be strong. You're either protecting yourself or you're protecting your emotions or your money here. Show me this hierophant. Why is the hierophant here? I love it when the cards get, get like that. Okay, so remember I said this could be somebody you're married to or a legal issue, but I feel like it's marriage. Clarified by, I feel like it's marriage. <laughs> so I think you're married to this person or you want to get married to this person. Something to do with marriage. This is somebody definitely that you've known before. Somebody that you have a strong foundation with. You've probably known them for a long time. Um, you're either going to ask them to marry you or you're already married. But something happened that came between the two of you.
Yeah, so you're offering your emotions here, offering your love. Because you think she's the queen of wands. Or he. That's somebody who's very sought after, very attractive, very sexy, luring. A lot of people like her or want to be with her. And there's the bright future. Or it could be an Aquarius. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. All right. So you know what? I feel like I want to pull just a couple more cards on this. So I'm going to get another deck. We're really going all out here, Aries, but I don't know why I'm feeling this reading. Let me get to the bottom of this for you. What happened with Aries and this person? That's what I want to know. What happened between the two of you? Oh my God, look at you guys, the Hierophant again. This is somebody you're married to or somebody you want to get married to. This is the third time I pulled that card in this reading. Yeah, you're manifesting. You want to marry this person or you're already married and you want them to come back. Yes, look, there's the five of pentacles. You guys are not communicating right now. You want your person back. I don't know why that song, Talking to the Moon by Bruno Mars just popped in my head. I know you're somewhere out there, somewhere far away. I want you back. That just popped into my head. Maybe you've been listening to that song a lot. I don't know. Yeah, you want a second chance to get it right here. A more balanced partnership with this person. I think there was a lot of fighting. Yep. Now, either you or this person is very guarded. There's some trust issues now. You feel defeated. Like you don't know how to reach out to this person possibly, but you want to marry him if you're not already married. Yeah, it's disappointment, regret. But it looks like you guys are gonna talk this out. There's gonna be some good news, some good communication coming through here. This is a victory, you see the wreath the laurel wreath here. That's a sign of victory. Um, and the crown, of course, is a uh, symbol of victory. Yeah, look. Yeah, you guys are going to fix it. That's good. I love that. All right, so... If you guys are in separation, I feel like you're going to talk it out and fix it. I got a lot of cards on this table, Aries. <laughs> Let's call a Romance Angels. No, what is this? Yeah, Romance Angels. Heart to heart conversation. Yeah. Remember I just said, I feel like you and your person are going to talk this out. And once you talk it out, it'll be a victory. Uh, and then I just pulled heart to heart conversation. You guys are going to talk this out. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. That's going to go well. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Hmm. Maybe somebody's got an ex they're fixated on. Or I'm also picking up that maybe somebody's afraid to commit because of their ex. They've been through a very hard time with somebody previously, so they're afraid to try it again. Reconciliation, did I tell you? Can't make this shit up, you guys. All right, and then I don't know why I feel like I'm supposed to pull you and me a little oracle. Oh, my back. Whew. Right. 
These cards are great for people who are in separation. And I feel like you're, you're in separation right now from this person. This one wants to jump. I know you're the one for me. Yes. Aries, I feel like you want to marry this person if you're not already married to them. If you are married, you want to fix it. If you're not married, you want to propose. I love it. Walking away from you made me realize how much I love you. Oh, yeah, I feel like it was a tower moment that came between you and this person. And you guys had no communication for a little while here. It was some kind of a fight or an argument. Sometimes distance makes the heart grow fonder. The energy between us felt amazing. Yeah, you want this person back. Ooh, Aries. I love it. Well, it does look like it's going to work out, but you two are going to have a big, long heart-to-heart -heart discussion here. Clear the air and put this all behind you. And um, Aries, am I invited to the wedding? <laughs> I'm excited for you. All right. Well, that's what I have for you guys for this week. If you don't subscribe to my channel yet, I would love if you hit that button for me. Come on. <laughs> Join the little Scorpio Cat family. And... Um, Oh, hit the bell shape if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. And that's what I got for you guys this week. So until next week, take care and congratulations.